Hi friends, I am making a quick little video to walk you through how to uh, navigate this sim again. Um, if you're already good on that, you don't really need to watch this, but if you needed some help because you forgot the different toggles and different buttons on the sim, this is just a quick little refresher from our previous lesson on Monday. So you should have opened the plate motion sim by copying and pasting this link into another web browser, which I've already done. Um, I would recommend having the directions over here in the Google form on one side and then taking the um, sim on the other. So how I do that, and this might look a little different on a Chromebook, just click in the upper left hand corner, there should be a little button. Um, and then make that one bigger as well. I'm not going in depth into that because I'm pretty sure it looks different on a Chromebook. Um, cool. So, and also I guess with this full screen you can't see my face. But anyway, you are looking under your directions over here. Select region 2 of the sim is right here. Then number three says add the rock, use the add rock tool. That is this button right here. That is your add rock tool. Where it says set boundary, that's this button down here. You may or may not have used this before. It does not matter which one you select. So I'll just put divergent on there. It doesn't matter which one you choose, but choose one of those. Press run. That button is up here. And toggle on earthquakes. That is this little button right here. This is important for you to see for the whole lesson. So what you'll notice is these black dots will start popping up and anywhere you see a black dot on your screen, that means that an earthquake has occurred there. The boundary type means that those plates are, um, that is the motion of the plates. You'll build and rebuild to do this again. I hope this video was helpful. And again, like always, if you have any questions, always reach out to me, either by email or by text.